Digital has two aspects. One of them is called the micro and the macro. Micro environment is talking about your company, your supplier, your intermediary, your customer, competitor. We are not looking at this. We are looking at the macro factor. The factor that we do not have a control. Micro, we can control our supplier, we can control our competitor and customer. But macro is very dangerous because we have no control. So usually when we go into a business, we want to look at the pestle factor, whether we should go into that business or not. All right? Okay, yeah? So the first one is, okay, political and legal, some of you can combine together. Because sometimes the government is the one who comes up with that law. It can be combined together. But if it's very unique, legal and unique politics, you can separate it. All right? So political, I give an example uh, of the two combined together. Now, a few years ago, all right, uh, recently, they want to come up with a law in Malaysia to control fake news. All right? So the law is legal. But it is the government who wanted to do it because there are a lot, I think during the Najib election time, huh, a lot of fake news going on, all right? So the government initiated, I wanted to create a law. So in this kind of situation, it is a combination because it's driven by the government. The government want to start a law. So it is PE, political and legal. But in some cases, it's very different, huh? all right? Anyway, you can see it didn't, Nothing came out of it. A lot of fake news, no law uh, established. But it would be good. But it was criticized by the American. Uh, all right? uh, they say that it's actually against free speech. But actually, a law to control it is good. All right? uh, environment. So we come to the first one. Political environment. This is your assignment. Uh, listen. Uh, your situation analysis, I'm focusing on this and another one only. All right? Not on porters. Uh, not on the six factors. Huh? Political environment is very important, particularly if you are doing international market. Malaysia is a very small country. We only have 33 million people. In order to grow, we have to export. All right? But when you export, you are exporting to another country. Another country's politics is very different. All right? So you have to be very conscious. So here you talk about, if you say China, they say it's a very autocratic, it's controlled, there's a law, you have been watched all the time. Huh? So you are saying USA is very democratic, huh? freedom of speech. Yeah, why? Why, why is a bit laughter? Freedom of speech, huh? you can say anything you want. Uh, you can also go to in, go to the campus and shoot people also. Huh? All right? I'm not saying uh, China is good. Huh? I'm not saying China is good. You have been watched everywhere. Huh? All right? You've got no privacy. Huh? Yes? Who? Uh, why? What happened? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. North Korea. So, yeah. But we won't export North Korea. They're so poor. What are they going to sell? Alright? So, politics, we have to be concerned. Huh? Alright? If you are exporting particularly. But internal politics is also another situation. Huh? Instability affecting the industry. Like Malaysia, um, I think those uh, Donna will realize last few years, uh, we changed our government three times, I think within three, four years. Uh, we also have our problem. All right? Now, every time a government change new policy, new business restriction, etc., it affects business. All right? Even the US right now, we are waiting for uh, Biden versus uh, 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 Trump. I think Trump will probably win. Now, when another president comes in, they will come up with new methods and new laws. And Trump will say that uh, we are going to impose 60% tax on all Chinese goods. He said, he promised. All right? But it's actually quite stupid, yeah? When you impose 60% tax, that means your people are paying that 60%, you know? It's not China. I'm selling you at $10. So you say, okay, you come into my country, it becomes $16. All right? So they're thinking that, oh, la, I don't buy Chinese goods, I don't buy Chinese goods. But those who buy, Becomes down sixteen dollars. Your consumer will buy sixty dollars. All right. So both sides will get hit. They order less from China, but those that actually needs to order, no choice. All right. Now will pay sixteen dollars. Who pay? American citizens. All right. So internal politics, government intervention in every country. Government will step in and interfere. All right. Either subsidy or cronyism. All right. 
So let me just give you an example. Safi politics. All right. Safi, I'll go one by one. Uh, Safi politics. What is the politics? It's positive. The government of Malaysia realized there's a lot of oral care problems, especially in the rural area. That a lot of Malaysian have bad teeth. So the government is actively, all right, they actually fund, they actually, I think they put up a fund to promote oral care in the Malaysian public. That's why you can see a lot of like Colgate will go to the school and teach you how to brush your teeth. So where is the politics here? Our Malaysian government is actively promoting oral care in Malaysia. I think they are also funding it. All right. Now, if it's ever solved, what is the role of the government? Reduce import duties. They want to encourage the skincare business. They reduce import duties. All right. When you import ingredients from overseas, very low tax or no tax. Ah, that's government political environment all right and uh, if you're bringing it from japan because malaysia has a gluk east policy if you are bringing from japan i give you special uh treatment i don't know what that is huh? all right uh, maybe zero import all right now it is a perfume what is the role of the government again perfume import zero tax or one percent tax if the tax is lower that means you can sell your product more profitably so our government is actively promoting industry i'm just giving one example to get you all right so perfume they actually reduce perfume tax i don't know whether it's one or zero when you import in from euro a uh, european union so malaysia we can produce uh, perfume cheap and we can sell it cheap what's the purpose because we want tourists to buy our product because we want Malaysia to export our perfume. All right. Uh, for bird's nest, you all already know. Huh? The government is encouraging the farm, the the, the bird's nest industry among our Malay brothers. Currently, it's monopolized by the Chinese. All right. Uh, but now the government is encouraging the Malays to also build farm, swift farm, because they see it as a potential business in China. So it doesn't have to be a Chinese business, all right? In fact, selling is considered halal, and they are encouraging the Malays to eat bird's nest. So this is the government's role, all right? I'm guiding you, uh, for those of you who don't interpret, but there's more than that. I'm just giving the simplest example. The tax, you have to check whether it's zero or one percent, all right? So political environment this is very general. Talk about trade war, it will affect us because we export our major customer is America first, then China. Or is it China, America? So if they have war, we are caught in between. We are being asked to take side. Are you for America or are you for China? So it's very difficult for us because we want business only. We don't want to side with any one of you. But both of you are my friends. Both of you are my major partner. So we are in a very difficult position. All right. It may affect us. America will decide. Oh, you seem to be very pro-China. Huh? Okay, I sanction you. Oh, I give you. I in all Malaysian product. I increase ten percent tax. We don't know. All right. So it will affect us. Huh? Other country. Uh, decoupling. I think as you all know now, globalization is coming to an end. Huh? Everybody now want to take care of themselves. This was last year's exam question. That's why I showed the slide. Last year's exam question is decoupling, right? Globalization is dying. Every country now take care of themselves. They don't want to share resources anymore. Okay, I won't talk too much about this. Yes, now you know. Huh? One of my lecture slides, one of my lecture video will be your final exam question. So listen very carefully. That one was the last year's decoupling, all right? There is one there also. In that 14th chapter, one video and one slide is actually your exam question. So you listen very carefully. Okay, trade war, I won't talk further. Basically, why is a trade war? You can see that China export a lot to America, but import very little from America. So America is very unhappy. And you look at America, they export very little to China, but they import a lot from China. So China is at the advantage. 
they are getting more from America than America is getting from China. Right? So that's also part of the reason why America is very angry, yeah? rightly or wrongly. Economic environment, I'll also give you an example for each brand. Effect of consumer buying, purchasing power. Our GDP is very good this year. I hope so. Continue. Huh? 4.3, 4.4. Our GDP is good. The economy will be good. People have more money to spend. Uh, more people get jobs. When they get jobs, they will spend. All right? So it's good. So income distribution, very low, very high, depends. Again, we talk about B40, M40 in your assignment. When you talk income, please tell me which income you are. All right? Now, the more money you are, obviously, you can buy expensive goods. Interest rate fluctuation affect consumer durable. That means they increase the interest or reduce the interest. If they increase the interest, everybody will put money in the bank to get interest. They stop spending or they reduce spending. Why? I want to put my money in the bank so that I get the interest mark, 5-6% or whatever. So I spend less. But if they reduce the interest rate, oh, I better take the money out and start spending because I'm not getting any savings. All right? So it depends on the bank. Currency exchanges, high or low. Uh, I'll go talk to you afterwards. Huh? All right? Fluctuation in GDP is not good. Up and down, but we are not too bad. Last year, 3.8. Now it's 4.5. Hopefully next year, 5 point something. They predicted will be 5 next year. So Malaysia is doing very well. Very good. Now, how does it affect you? First one, if the GDP is good, everybody has employment, you all get your bonus, you all get your increment, you will buy more expensive goods. So it is good for bird's nest. All right? Your T20 will go up. But if the economy is not good, then they will buy cheaper products. Right? Now, currency exchange. Unfortunately, our currency is still weak. Uh, we need to buy every 4.8 ringgit to get one US dollar. All right? Uh, US dollar is the world currency. When you buy things, usually we use the US dollar. So that means our currency is very weak. So those of you importing perfume from uh, 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 Euro, you will find that you have to spend more because our currency is very weak. I think Euro uh, is 5.6. Uh. That means for $5.6 dollar to get one Euro, example. So that means your ingredient is very expensive. So you are affected by currency exchange rate. All right? All of you, Safi, uh, on Shanta, Eversoft, all right? Uh, not so much the selling because most of your products are local, all right? But these three import ingredients, all right, will be expensive. You will be affected by our weak currency, all right? But Japan lately, not so bad. Huh? Japan, the currency is still dropping, but usually Japan used to be very expensive, all right? So the economy, in terms of buying power, in terms of your currency exchange rate will affect you. All right? Now your GST, SST. Okay, they are not going to implement GST. Uh, I think the government realized that if we implement GST, it will affect. But the SST service charge is there. All right? All these increases the price of your goods inflation. Oh, Malaysia has inflation. Huh? You can see all your note, your noodle. Huh? Once upon a time, uh, it's 7, 6, 50. Now it's at 8, 8, 10, 10, 10, 12. Uh. All right? So we have inflation. So it affects your consumer buying power. It affects your products. But if your product is an innovation, never seen before, I must buy. I have no choice. So you see the value of innovation or not? If your product is an innovation, they have no choice. They will buy whatever the price. Of course, not ridiculous. Uh. All right? So we want an innovation that we don't have to worry about the economic environment because it's so unique. People are willing to spend just to get it. All right? Legal require environment, of course, huh? these are laws and government agencies. They come up with law. Why? Business needs to be controlled. You already know. All right? Sometimes people make money huh, at your expense of your life. Okay? I already told you about the case. Oh, not you, is it? To the, 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 the Maggie Me. I think I told you Maggie Me situation, right? India, a few years ago, they boycott Maggie Me. Uh, I don't know whether it's true or not. I'm just repeating. Uh, I don't want to be sued. 
we have to be very careful when you repeat cases. Uh. People will say that you are slandering. Uh. But what I read is this very simple. Uh. They banned Maggi Me in uh, India. I don't want to say whether it's the same because we produce in Malaysia is different from India. The question is, how do you get the Maggi Me so nicely in a rectangle? Noodles are normally loose. All right, and then when you boil in water, it loosen. So the comment is that they use a very special wax uh, to compress them together. Now, when you boil, the wax does not go off. The wax will stay in the soup, and then you will drink and drink and drink many times. Maggi mee is very popular in India, all right, and it stays in your system, all right. Uh, is your kidney affected? We don't know. So they banned. I don't know what they did after that. All right. In Malaysia, there's also another situation three weeks ago, about uh, three years ago. Milo. All right. One of the YouTubers went to the, the YouTube and said that Milo is not healthy. Why? He proved to you that every cup of Milo. Now remember, uh, Milo is sold to your little brother and sister. Ask them to drink it so they got energy to play and all that. And he tell you, do you know where the energy for the little boys and little girls come from? Every cup of Milo has three spoonful of sugar and they ask you to add sugar some more ask you to add milk, milk also has sugar That is why your little brother and sister has a lot of energy It is sugar, sugar driven energy and they love the taste because it's sweet But many years later, look at Malaysia today eh? We are the fattest country in Southeast Asia We have the highest case of obesity we have the highest case of diabetes. All right, the, the video, I'll show you later, I have the video. So immediately what happened one year later, Milo launched a low sugar Milo, 30% less. All right, so legal requirement. Business needs to be controlled. You make money, but you don't kill people. All right, so these are all the ones, I change it. Eh? Now guys, uh, in your assignment, these are the requirements, NPRA, all these legal requirements, JAKIM, CIRIM, NPRA, GMP, HACCP, these are the product standard. You have to prove that you have all these in order to manufacture and sell, alright? There is also a consumer movement in Menang called the CAP, alright? What does the CAP do? Every year they will print one booklet and they'll tell you which product in Malaysia you should not be eating. I think it's excellent. All right? They will print, I think uh, once a year or twice a year, they will tell you which product currently in Malaysia you should not eat, which one is dangerous. At one stage, they say it's Johnson Baby Baby. Uh, you know, Johnson and Johnson Baby, you know what they said? Actually, it contains a lot of chemical. You are actually giving your baby a chemical bath. All right? Uh, true or not, we don't know when we read. So there is another one that you all don't know, it's called the Consumer Tribunal. There is a telephone number all of you can call. If you feel that the company has cheated you or the product is expired, there is a number you can call in Malaysia and complain and they will help you take action. Alright, I have the number but I didn't put it there. Not for me to do that. Huh? Okay, so legal requirement, again China here. Now this guy is very smart. When Apple became very famous in the US, he quickly patented the logo. I can't see it. Uh. This company in China called the Xingdong. Uh, all right. Uh, I think they use the uh, Apple logo or ah, sorry, iPhone. They use the name iPhone. They patented it by law. When iPhone launched in China, they found that there is another brand using the uh, name iPhone. So they take action, but Apple lost. Apple lost. But they are selling actually. Uh, mobile phone casing, but it's called iPhone, all right? So Apple sued them, but Apple lost because they actually registered properly before Apple entered China, all right? So these are all the legal issues we have to be careful. At the end of this course, you will learn about the law. You learn about the law controlling your branding and all that, huh? Okay, okay we've got 20 minutes more. Social cultural, uh, Malaysia, this we're from Malaysia, our population is only 32 to 33 right now. We are aging. Our birth rate is very low. 
for every husband and wife, we are only getting one and a half children. All right, we are dropping. Um, unfortunately, uh, Nas, where's Nas? Got the toilet? Ah? Yes, Mimi. <laughs> Give more children, like you. Okay, I try, I try. Even our Malay brothers, uh, the birth rate is dropping, you know. Once upon a time, our Malay brothers uh, are four children, five children. Now, uh, they are also dropping. They also drop to two children, three children. That's why the Malaysian population is dropping. It's called an aging population. It is not good news. Uh. Aging population means in future there's not enough young people all right, to drive the economy. And worse for you all, all right? If there's only one or two children, early you and your husband, uh, you have to take care of your mother and father. He has to take care of father and mother. The two of you have to take care of four old people. That's what's happening in China right now. All right? Our growth rate is dropping. So this is bad news. Our economy will be affected. There will be less young people to drive the economy. Aging, our aging population. But what is good is we have more and more women now working. All right, more women now in senior positions. Uh, now, of course, uh, the Malays, uh, our Malay brother is sixty percent higher. All right, but it will not grow anymore because their population also dropping. Huh? Education level, a lot of degree is very common. All right, so here I want to say something to you guys. Huh? You better get your degree because degree now is lots of substitute. Many people has a degree, it's very common. Ah, uh, toilet paper, habis lah. Alright? No, some don't even get a degree. Some of you, unfortunately, as I told you, every cohort, this cohort, uh, there will be seven who will be FO, fail and out, no degree. The last one you had was your diploma. Alright? Uh, because toilet paper is going to repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, but your employer can tell, uh, they will look at your transcript. Today they are very clever. Huh? They know everybody has a degree. They will look at your transcript and you look at your CGPA. Huh? Very low means toilet paper. Alright? So very competitive. That's why some of your friends are going to do masters. Alright? Some people are doing PhD also. Alright? So education level is high but it's good. Now if the education level is high, it is good and it's bad. What is bad? These people are very knowledgeable. They'll be very fussy. They'll be demanding. They'll be checking your ingredients. They'll be checking your benefits. All right? Household pattern, now a lot of divorce case. All right? A lot of divorce case, single parents. Single parents. All right? Now, again, the other one very important for all of you for forecasting. 78% of Malaysians are now urban. More and more people are moving to the city to earn a bit, uh, better money. So our agriculture area will have a problem. So the question asks, all the young people in all the rural areas are going to the city to work. Who is going to plant the paddy? Who is going to take care of the agricultural uh, products? Right? So 78% are in the urban area. Good for you because your market is bigger. All right? Good for you, your market is bigger. But not good for Malaysia because we have to start importing food from overseas. Because our people are not producing food, all the young people don't want to work in the rural areas. All right? Okay, huh? so you need to consider this. This is your segmentation part. Your segmentation, this tutorial. This week's tutorial. Huh? So, okay, so this is a fax. Um, uh, whoever the fella is, uh, old data, old data, I'm sorry. Uh, all right? This data is uh, 92035 unless they change it. 15% uh. will be 60 years old. Now, somebody here, very petty. Uh, all right? Old data. La. Old man, of course, la, propose old data. Uh, old man, old methods of teaching. Uh. One of you. Uh. Never mind, it's okay. Everybody has an opinion. Sometimes we laugh. Huh? Sometimes the lecturers, when we look at the comments you know, from the, the, the students, we all have good laugh. Huh? You see, huh, all these comments sometimes reflect on you. Huh? The, the, the kind of comment you make, you know, is, is this an undergraduate? Huh? 
Okay, so this is generation marketing. Again, your segmentation, you can choose baby boomer, generation X, or generation Y. Alright? So, generation X, generation Z, people who are raised, born 1995 to 2012, alright? They want to do, every generation, the character is different. So, when you look at it, you can actually develop a specific product for this kind of person. They want to do things on their own. Alright, DIY. Very competitive. They are born both digital and physical. Alright, they got one hand in a laptop, the other hand they'll be eating their breakfast. Alright, sounds like my daughter. Huh? Alright, so they want customer personalized, specially made for them. Fear of losing out. They call it, Singapore is a kiasu people. All right, uh, multiple roles they double task. Uh, this is not good. All right, when they have a job, they will at night have another job. Uh, like some of you students, uh, but you students is different. All right, when they are working with company at night, they'll be doing another company's work. Actually, it's not very ethical. Uh, all right, uh, this is called work life plan. That means they don't believe in um, taking a break. I work hard tonight, I rest non stop. They work and enjoy, work and enjoy at the same time. Alright? So these are the character. Once you know the character, can you develop a product for them? That's why I will talk about segmentation. By the way, my slide is wrong. This is Generation Alpha, not Generation Z. Alpha is right now your little brother and sisters. Okay, technology. Ah, okay, it's very technology. Huh? Somebody fell asleep there already. Fell asleep there, it's very boring, is it? Midterm test, question two. Ah, see? Look up, really. <laughs> okay. Technology is changing very fast. If you can't catch up, you will be extinct. But technology is good. It can give you great new market for you. All right, but technology also depends on your company whether they have the money to invest and develop technology. Uh, here, technology could be mechanical, uh, but it could be ingredients as well. Now, now because of technology, especially uh, digital, uh, now they are coming up with law to control. Like ChatGPT, for example, our government is considering a law how to control. Uh. America is already considering it. I think Europe already has it. Like especially in our assignment, uh, chat GPT, all right? So we are trying to acquire the, turn it in with AI, all right, to check. So we need to control all these, uh, because the most recent case is um, Anwar Ibrahim, our president. Somebody created a deep fake. You know a deep fake? It looks like a real person. Deep fake, uh, deep fake I think maybe related to AI, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, yes. Deep fake, that means looks almost like him, talk like him, the voice like him. Ah, came out in the video, Anwar asking you all to contribute something, I can't remember. It's terrible. Can you imagine you can use the Prime Minister's voice and face, uh? I don't know who this person is, uh, to ask for some kind of donation, something like that. Alright, so we need law to control. Okay, I just now I started, I showed Google already, uh, driverless, alright. Uh, just now the flying taxi, I already shown, so this is technology. Uh. Right. Again, uh, remember uh, what I show uh, the slide uh, could be your exam question. Uh. Could be uh, 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 environmental factors. Okay, we've got 10 more minutes. Natural resources are used as input. Marketers are the one at fault many times. Uh. We are the one that exploit natural uh, 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 resources and sometimes we are the one that pollutes the environment. Uh. All right? Depletion of natural resources, cut down forests to make paper, for example. All right? uh, take oil out of the ground. Air pollution, we are the one who started it. Uh. Marketing is the one who main culprit actually. Uh. So now we are heading towards environmental friendly and safe product. So I assume all your product is recyclable, biodegradable. All right, but it will be very expensive. Okay, so now we have alternate, we are trying to go natural. All right, what is the problem? Is the microplastic fish. We throw so much plastic into the ocean, the plastic will break down. 
all right and the fish will eat it and uh, you know the way uh, they, they think your plastic is jellyfish uh. they go and eat the plastic and then they die uh. but this is worse this is punishment for us karma all right they eat the plastic we eat the fish we eat back the plastic all right so this is a problem and this one is very big i've seen one of the microplastic really small like grain of sand all right in the fish so we are actually eating back we are killing ourselves it's our fault all right so now you have uh this is your past exam question also all right past exam question they are growing a special mushroom and they are turning it into a ladder to make jewelry ah uh, sorry make bags they don't want to use animal hide anymore they are moving away from cow hide why number one you have a lot of cow cow is not good for the environment because the cow dung and they fart it releases a gas all right number two when you take the hide you have to use mat chemical all right to treat it and the chemical go to the air it destroys the uh, ozone so now they are thinking of replacing this is one of them the other one grape skin uh, using the skin of grapes so this one is from a mushroom this was your exam uh, topic previous exam topic all your exam topic is the article is an innovation because this is an innovation subject all the article in your question one is related to a new product all right a new food a new product a new machine all right so this is a new product okay very quickly we're ending so why do we need to know the pastel the pastel help you to find solution here's an example ah huh? political air china and uh, malaysia has developed a very strong relationship and because of that china has allowed malaysia more ports airport to access all right so as a result it increases air asia air asia can land in more cities and bring in more tourists all right now this one is interesting politics now there was a uh, 9/11 uh, there was the bombing of uh, america and all that by terrorists so everybody is scared at that time the people flying from country to country suddenly there's a big drop because they are afraid that the terrorists open the bomb and explode the whole plane and then you die out there so a lot of passengers avoided airplane but a problem becomes a solution so what did they do they started the concept of air marshal they have a plain clothes detective pretending to be a customer sitting at the back with a gun in case they are terrorists so now they are using this to sell the car, uh, the plane we are secure all our plane has a secret what do you call it warrant uh, air war uh, uh, air what air marshal sitting at the back don't worry take our flight so a problem become an opportunity so that is the beginning of having air marshal in planes all of them has today ah uh, but you don't know who they are they look like a passenger maybe a girl maybe a guy sitting at the back all right so they are using it to sell the airplane now the problem now is not the solution so using pastel you can actually found find solution here is another one ah uh. I, I i don't do all i just pick some um Okay, technology. Ah, uh, today you got ID, you got DVD, you got internet. Notice that today when you go to a plane, uh, now ah, uh, some plane even promise you you can access the internet on the plane. Right. So it makes your ah uh, enhances the 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 service. And Air Asia now, ah, uh, you can e-ticket. You don't have to queue up to buy a ticket. You can go computer at the leisure and get the ticket and pay. All right, Air Asia better. They can even check in your luggage before you even reach there. All right. So, technology. By knowing technology, it can give you ideas, innovative ideas. Right. Okay. Just two. Ah. Uh. So this is what we are saying. Now, when you are writing your assignment, ah, uh, your pastel must relate to your assignment. All right. It must help your assignment. It's just not talking about oh currency exchange rate full stop. Right, you must talk about it. Help on shorter because now, ah, uh, sorry, are uh, not good for on shorter because the currency exchange rate is very high. Now the product on shorter is very expensive. Your pastel analysis, ah, uh, I want you to bring in your product. I don't want to talk about currency by itself. 
you talk about quality, how does it relate to your product? Then you get full marks. Huh? Not quality with no reference to your product. Okay, uh, I won't do this one very quickly, the same thing. Uh. Now, this is a very interesting. They say that this PDA, uh, personal assistant, will be successful based on all these. Uh, but you cannot predict it's a failure. It's replaced by item. All right? So sometimes all these not necessary is uh, accurate. All right, next one. Same thing. They use the Porter's five forces to analyze the PDA personal uh, digital assistant you don't have it it's out of date all right it's like a phone right there you know and you communicate but it's not a phone huh? you write take notes and send notes okay because your iphone can do it all right all right so in order to have a good same thing they did with the pastel uh, you notice Pastel, they did the same thing. They analyzed whether the pastel environment would support this PDA or not. Uh, it says yes, but the product failed. All right. So here, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Let me be fast, huh? So in order to have a good analysis, you need all three market factors, macro environmental factors, and orders. And if all three is good, go into the business. All right. Um. Lock in now. Lock in now before the time's up. We want to catch the chickens. Lock in 